yeah, this is our presentation. <laughs> um, this was our original research that we did. Um, it was just basically sort of going through the narrative, um, styles that we wanted to copy, convention, things like that. Um, for our overall style of our film, we decided to use the black and white instead of going for modern with colour because we um, preferred the effect it had and it made, made it more of a classic film. Um, we took inspiration from Detour because it was a classic, it was black and white, and then we used Brick as well because it was a neo noir. It also had modern conventions used within it. Um, and we obviously would have the, char the main characters, protagonist, femme fatale, and villain. Um, and then we had um, three main ideas for our plot before we decided definitely what we wanted. We had a hostage idea, um, a corrupt cop, and then a, a fair, which was on the basis. This is our basic storyboard for our final plot. Um, the first scene is going to be the present time where the femme fatale is questioned by the protagonist and then it would go back into a flashback where you'd see the detective at the scene of a crime. Then there'd be a paper sh newspaper shop where you would see the information about the murder. Then the meeting of the protagonist and femme fatale. Um, then we were going to have a montage of the relationship between protagonist, protagonist and femme fatale. Um, then a shot of a gun and a wedding ring because um, the femme fatale is the one who is the killer. So this is the proof, and then we go back to the original scene. Um, this is our narrative concept. So Ben Fatal kills her husband for wealth. Um, the protagonist is the detective who investigates the death of the husband. Um, the Ben Fatal then seduces the protagonist um, to distract him. The protagonist finds out that the Ben Fatal killed the husband, and then Ben Fatal kills the protagonist. Um, we try to go through the five stages. It didn't quite work because of the flashback, but it follows in, but not religiously. Okay, um, after coming up with our basic plot line, we started to brainstorm some film title ideas. Um, we looked at previous film noirs for inspiration. Um, we tried to focus on the French and the German links and the origin of film noir itself. Um, the one that we chose in the end was Dead Man Running. Um, the opening of our film includes a like iconic shot, a point of view shot of the man running towards the silhouette of the femme fatale, so we thought dead man running was quite good, had quite good links as well. Um, after this we then looked at character profiles and decided what codes and conventions to follow, so we have our femme fatale, Chloe, who uses an alter ego, Serena Knowles. Um, we chose 26 is the age, or turn quite young and glamorous. Um, basically, in the film, she kills her husband for his money, seduces the detective to cover her own tracks. Um, we wanted her to act innocent and naive, come across well to seduce the detective, but she's really manipulative and scheming. She also shows no remorse for killing her husband, nor the detective at the end. Um, for her appearance, we wanted to use provocative red colours for her clothing, fur coat, show well, red lipstick and high heels. This also adds to the seductive element of the character herself. Um, then we looked at our main protagonist, uh, Detective Michael Ray. Um, we wanted him a bit older, we wanted him to seem uh, the dominant one in the relationship. Um, he's initially assigned a murder case involving the Femme husband. Um, he falls for Chloe's charm and discovers that she murdered her husband, but he still wants to be with her because he's manipulated. She's manipulated him into it. Um, Chloe's been using him the whole time and ends up killing him just to keep him from turning on her to the police. Um, he's, he's laid back, kind of workaholic ladies' man. He's got a good sense of humour and he falls for Chloe because she makes him feel like the dominant force, whereas she's the more powerful one in the relationship. But you just can't see it until near the end. Um, appearance, we had him smartly dressed for work, so shirt, trousers, tie. Um, and then he's also got his casual outfit, jeans, t-shirt, and leather jacket. Um, for our first day of filming, we plan to film the graveyard scene, which is at the start, which is the first bit at the start, where um, Chloe comes clean about what she did, and then it also goes to the flashback as well. 
Um, we also filmed the start of the montage of their relationship, which is the bit depicting the growing relationship between Chloe and Michael. Um, <coughs> we also filmed the meeting at the police station, which is the first time that Chloe meets Michael, and she's kind of like waiting outside for him to come out so she can talk to him. And then we also filmed the bedroom scene, which is the part where Michael discovers the gun and the wedding ring and the letter um, in her drawer as well. This is one of the clips that we filmed. Okay. Um, okay. Can you play it off the memory stick or? I don't think it's on the memory stick. Okay, that might be why it's oh, not. Okay. okay. That was another clip as well, but that's obviously not going to work. Um, what's left to do, we've just got to finish our filming. So we need to finish filming the montage of their relationship. And then there's also a scene where, at the, where the body of her ex-husband was. And then there's a part where the femme fatale kind of like reads about the detective. So she decides that she's going to seduce him to keep him quiet. Then we've just got to finish doing the editing and our two ancillary tasks and then the evaluation. Okay, very good. Round of thank you. Right. Okay, any feedback? Anyone want to comment on their, their film, their ideas? It seems like a really strong idea. I like that you're using, you're going to do it in black and white, because obviously that is very, it'll be easily recognised as being a noir film, and the, I like that you uh, sort of laid out your plot, sort of concept, using yeah. the ABC bit, it was really, like, mm. put it across really well. Yeah, very good application of the uh, of Todorov's theory there. Good. Anyone else want to contribute? Okay. Okay, very good, guys. Well done. <coughs>